Alright guys, in the last video, Chad and I went back to our old house in California. We actually saw our old house completely destroyed. While we were back there, we actually saw hackers there. Not one, but two hackers. So we were doing some sneaking around, trying to see what they were doing. But at the end, Chad and I decided to split up so we can each follow one hacker. And I've been following this one hacker for so long now. And I actually lost him for a little bit, but I actually found him again so now we're back to tracking him all right guys there's the hacker i've been like hiding behind these bushes oh! i don't think he saw me what's he doing what's he looking for is he meeting up with someone else can't see oh I think I need to move closer. I can't see him very well. Oh, I just got a phone call. I, I heard just heard the phone ringing. I need to get my listening device out. What's he saying? Oh, oh gosh, okay. Guys, I can, I'm gonna go hide here. Is going to do a, a point on mission? Yeah, I mean, did you try getting the, the, did you try getting the toothbrush? You should go, go to the laboratory, okay? Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot believe what I just heard. Oh my gosh, he's leaving. Oh my gosh, we need to go follow him. What are they doing? They're going into this building? What is this place? Where, where did he go? What's going on? Where is he going? I think he just came out of this place. I just came out of this door. Whoa, it's so dark in here. Where am I? Let me get my flashlight here. Where are we? What is going on? Wait, what is this? Lab rules? Number one, always wear safety goggles and gloves. Number two, do not leave any evidence behind. Number three, do not open the safe unless authorized to do so. What? A safe? There's a safe here? Okay, I gotta find the safe, you guys. All right, let's go see if we can find it. What is this right here? Huh. There's a number here. 971. Oh, I wonder if that might be the code to the safe or something. All right, you guys, this Right here, it says Gene F. It has a lot of weird, it's very hacker-related stuff here. What? DNA robots. How to collect DNA? What is, co collect DNA? Let's see here. There's just a bunch of articles here talking about DNA. I gotta find more light source or something. Huh. There's a lab coat here. Wait a minute. Gotta back up here. Whoa, look at all these chemicals, all these beakers, chemistry set. Oh, what is this place? Periodic table, bandages. All right guys, I think I'm in a lab right now. It might potentially belong to the hacker that I was following. That's really creepy. Knowing maybe potentially this place is collecting DNA, I feel like I need to put on some gloves and maybe tie my hair up or something because I don't wanna leave any of my DNA behind because then they will definitely know that I came in here. Okay guys, I got my gloves on, my hair up. Oh, what is this keypad here? Can you guys see this? I wonder what zone we're in. Red, blue, green. Interesting, oh wait, wait. What was that number that I just found earlier on the board? This one? Oh, that might be it. I'm gonna try this number right here. Nine, seven, one. Nine, seven, one. Anything? Nothing. Nothing's happening. Maybe that's not the right code. I'm gonna keep looking around to see what else is on this lab here. I'm not quite sure what these chemicals are. I don't, I'm not sure if I wanna touch anything. Okay, what about these test tubes? Wait a minute. Is that a toothbrush in there? It is a toothbrush. It's a toothbrush head. 
Look at this, you guys. Remember how when we went back to my old apartment and they were trying to steal my toothbrush? Look, they're collecting toothbrush from other people. I'm not sure who this belongs to. It's definitely not mine because I don't use this type of toothbrush. Let's get into the light here. Whoa, you guys. Look at this. Wow, can you guys see that? It says SS? Yeah, that looks like SS. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what SS stands for. All right, let's see what else is in here. This is like a Q-tip. It has RZ on it, on the bottom. Maybe these are initials of DNA of people that I've collected. Let me know in the comments below what you think the letters in the bottom of each of these test tubes stand for. So I know that to collect DNA, people have used this before and they swab inside of their cheek. So I wonder if this is a cheek swab from somebody with the name RZ. All right, let's see what's in this one. You guys, this has hair in it. Okay, they're definitely collecting DNAs from people. You know, this one looks like it says LS, or it actually can be like five, seven, maybe? So maybe they're numbers. You guys let me know, but based on the other test tubes, those are definitely letters though. But let's see, you can, can you guys see hair in here? All right, you guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm holding this hair right here, and it actually looks like it's black, and then it slowly turns into blonde. It is very, very long though. Well, my hair is, is longer than this. It's not as long as mine, but this is definitely belongs to your girl who has black or blonde hair. Let me know if you guys know who this may belong to. Okay, this is the last test tube here. Let's see what's in it. I can't seem to see anything. It looks empty. Yeah, there's nothing in here. But let's see what the bottom says. Okay, it looks like it's a like a circle and then a triangle. Let me, let me turn it around. Whoa, you guys, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Can you guys see this right here? Does that, does that look like a V and then a Q? Okay, because my initials, R, V, and Q, and it's empty. Oh my gosh. What if this test tube here was meant for me? They were trying to collect my DNA, and I wonder if the toothbrush was meant to be in here. I really don't want them to collect my DNA. I don't want them after me. You know what I'm gonna do? I, I think I'm gonna pretend to spit in here so they think that it's my saliva. I feel like they're gonna come after me until they fill this up with something. I'm gonna look around the lab here to see if I can find anything to make it look like it's my saliva. Okay, let's see. All these speakers here, well, none of this look like my saliva. This one's clear. Maybe I'm gonna use this clear liquid here and pretend it's my saliva. Carefully transfer this, hopefully. This is nothing dangerous. Okay, that's probably enough. Yeah, maybe they'll just think that's my saliva or something and then they can leave me alone. All right, you guys, give this video a big thumbs up right now if you think that was a really good plan. I think that's actually gonna trick them. Let, let's explore some of these chemicals here. This one has like red, blue. Oh wait, there's some safety glasses here. I think the first rule in this lab I saw earlier was to put on safe goggles. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on just in case if I accidentally touch or spill any chemicals, my eyes will be protected. You guys know me, I'm kind of clumsy in that way. There's some red chemicals. There's some blue one, and here's a green one. Red, blue, green. Wait a minute, wait a minute, isn't that the same color scheme as the pad? Yeah, red, blue, green. All right, maybe that's a clue. Maybe that's a hint or something. Maybe whoever's working in this lab needs this as a reminder or a hint. Is there anything special about this? Anything underneath? Okay, so there's nothing underneath this flask. This blue one doesn't even look like a chemistry blast. The speaker looks like it's at 150. I'm not quite sure what those are meant. Maybe they're just solutions to extract DNA. Who knows what's going on? Let's see what else we can find in here. Okay, so this is like a light green color. There's another green. Does it look like, it might be like Coke or something, Coca-Cola. Looks kind of like urine. Mm. Oh, I always feel bad. All right, you guys, whenever you're in a lab like this, just try to not ever mix any chemicals together because crazy things can happen. Whoa, you guys, look at this. Red, blue, green, all in the same order. And look, they're like connected to each other. That has to be a clue to that keypad somehow. All right, you guys, this test tube here, oh, it looks like it's filled up to the number seven. So this blue one, 
looks like it's at eight, because 10 is right there. Yeah, it's definitely at eight. This line here looks like it's five, so it's one above that, so it's probably six. So it's definitely seven, eight, six. Red beaker, seven. Blue beaker, eight. Green beaker, six. Whoa! Where did that noise come from? There was definitely a noise, you guys. Did it come from here? Anything, anything unusual? Nothing here. <gasps> you guys, you guys, this is open right now. Oh my gosh, what's in here? All right guys, this is actually pretty high for me. Let's see if I can get my camera up there. I don't know, you guys don't see anything. Uh, uh, okay, okay, all right. It's just a bunch of paper, so weird. All right, let's see what else is on here. In this cupboard. I can almost reach that. Oh, okay, whoa. Look at this, you guys. It's like a suitcase box, kind of. This must be the safe that they were talking about in the lab rules, you know, in the whiteboard that we first saw when we first came in. Look, there's numbers on them. It's a three-digit number. Can't open this. Wait, wait, wait. Remember that three-digit number that I saw earlier? I wonder what it was. Wait, wait, where is it? Maybe, maybe it's the combination lock for this. Here it is, that 971 number. Let's try this out. 971. Okay, now what? What? It didn't work. 971 is not the combination. You guys just need to remember this for me, okay? 971 is the code that we found in the lab. Just remember that for me. This box here has a bunch of like letters and numbers in it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys know what these stands for while I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, let's see. SC11. These mean anything? TI22 AU79. You know, guys, I actually know what this means. When I took chemistry class in school, I know that AU stands for gold, and the 79 is a number on the periodic table. So this is the element number for gold. I actually saw a periodic table in this lab, so let's see if this reveals some sort of clue. All right, here, here's the periodic table. AU79 is right here. I. I have marked all the elements in that box on here. I don't know what to think of this because they all seem to be in like one area right here in the middle of the periodic table. Do you guys have any idea what I can do with this information? Please comment down below right now to help me out. Okay, all right, see, let me see. Maybe it spells something. S-C-T-I, site. Ugh, that doesn't seem like English at all. Or maybe I just need to follow these lines. Let me see if this one, this grouping here, kind of looks like a zero or a rectangle. Or maybe it's an O. Interesting, maybe, maybe I just color that in. This is actually definitely looking like this is a zero or an O or something. But I think we're on the right track here by coloring this in. Let's color in the rest of the squares and see what happens. All right guys, this is definitely the code to something. It's 206, so I think I'm gonna try it on the keypad. Maybe that will open this door or something because this door has been closed the whole entire time. Maybe it's the code to get in. So it's 206, nothing. All right, let's try it on the safe. Two, zero, six. All right, this must be it, you guys. One, two, three, slide. Ah! 